Yep, this is the time when the game is just screaming at me like, Komodo, what are you doing? This thing's priceless. You're going to break it. It's okay. We're just going to blame it on Bob. Either that, I'll just open the door and uh, exit. But oh, we're going to wait. Okay, I'm going to find every button to click in here and see if I can find more speed. I don't even know what that is. You know, I clicked it. So folks, we're about to fly down the tracks in this awesome flying Scotsman here in Train Sim World 4. Uh, by the way, thank you guys for all the support on the first video. You guys wanted to see more of this, and <laughs> I had a lot of requests to play with this train. By the way, I am absolutely in love with these, like, classic train cars. I mean, it's just fantastic. I just want to... Can I just ride back here? Like, I don't even want to drive the train. Just let me sit in the seat and let me go for a ride. This is fantastic. All right, so... uh. If you recall from the last episode, everything went uh, extremely well. Like, I don't know, opening doors in the middle of this. Like, I should not be allowed to do this. Uh, oh my goodness, what just happened? Oh, oh, I just fell out of the train! I just fell out of the... Um, yep. I know not to step out of moving trains now, so that's definitely a thing. So, let's go ahead and climb aboard. We need to learn this thing before we, uh, really put it through its paces, which... Oh, I've got somebody else up here with me. I thought I was doing this solo, don't get a lie. Kind of don't want anybody up here with me. Okay, so you really can't see out of this thing. Uh, do I have a window? Oh, you kind of have like a little small window in front of you. So really the only trains I've driven in this game are the more modern ones. So this is definitely going to be a, a little bit different. Okay, let's set the cylinder to open. Okay, cylinder to open. All right, okay, reverser determines the direction. Okay, so it's still got a reverser. Okay, so it says mid-gear, back. Okay, we want to go forward. Uh, dude how it turns that's actually kind of cool all right so that's set to forward okay we need to open the passenger doors do i still have the same hotkeys or do i actually have to click something here so this thing apparently has some upgraded brakes here so i think we're ready to do that did the doors close i guess they're closed it's fine okay so this is our train brake so it's a neutral shutdown we want to put it into uh running here there we go Okay, so we need to slowly open up the regulator here, and this is going to apply some power. So it says to start off slow at about 25. Oh, that sound. I love the sound of steam trains. So by the way, uh, these things in real life are extremely scary. Uh, I have video on my Instagram of the big boy that came in uh, to a town near us that we went to go see. Uh, go check out my Instagram, by the way. It's a shameless plug. Totally shameless. Oh, that is just lovely. I mean, look at that. That's terrifying, lovely, all at the same time. Uh, all right, so we need to set the regulator up to 30%. So, oh, that's the reverser uh, over up here. I think I'm familiar with this one. All right, so we go 30%. I mean, if I turn it to 100, does it explode, or is that something we shouldn't do? Oh, it's the reverser that needs to be set down to 30. Oops, I turned the regulator up. Uh, okay, regulator needs to go to 50% now. I was reading the wrong thing there. It's my YouTuber vision, which a lot of people complain about. Uh, is that supposed to be bouncing like that up there? Uh, oh, uh, set the cylinder over here to close. There we go. All right. So reach a speed of 30 miles per hour. I know this train is capable of more. Uh, one of the missions that hopefully we're going to test out uh, does test the speed of this thing. By the way, uh, very beautiful countryside here. Like, I mean, I much prefer this to the uh, California setting that we were in uh, last video. Like, this is absolutely lovely. Got a view of the back train car here. I mean, oh, chef's kiss. That way I can open up the coal car. I don't think I'm supposed to do it. You know, let's just open it up. So yeah, there's where the coal is. Hold on, can I stand up? Okay, remember, don't do anything stupid while standing up. Okay, close the door. Uh, there's the coal door down there. Uh, of course, there's the, it's the, called the cat flap, but you can see the coal burning in there. And oh my goodness, we're in a tunnel. Oh, I want to see this. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, by the way, we're almost to the, wait, am I supposed to slow down for this? I have not been paying attention. I think we're just going into the main loop. It doesn't say anything about stopping at a station, even though there might very well be. No, I don't think I see a station. No, there's a marker up there. Uh, but I do think we're just going into the main loop. Like, you cannot see out of these. Like, can I head? Wait, can I hold my? Is that a thing? Oh, geez, I should not have I clicked something. No, 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 turn that down a little bit. We're going too fast here. I was hoping to hold my head out the window. No, we're just passing through this area. I'm not coming to a stop. So, last episode, I was a little, uh, I would say bad on the brakes. Uh, I might have jammed on the emergency brakes several times, trying to get this thing to stop. Which, by the way, it looks like we are stopping 1.5 uh, kilometers away. I also like that it totally turns it out a dumb American. 
Like when you're in a train like this, it's like, you don't need miles, idiot. By the way, we were moving at 93 kilometers an hour. I mean, I feel like we're booking. I, I, for some reason, I guess it's just how this train is and how open it is. It sounds like we're picking up speed. Did I do something? Are we at, no, we're not on a decline. I am gaining speed. Uh, no, this is fine. Okay, you are approaching the station. I'm sure it's gonna be like, this train works a little bit different. So I need to set the regulator to close. Okay, so we wanna go boom. So it's gonna start scrubbing speed. Uh, do I need to actually apply brakes or are we gonna start losing speed? No, we're definitely not losing speed at the moment. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, at some point we're gonna slow down, right? Uh, yeah, this is good. Oh, you know, that's coming up really fast. I wanna slow, no, no, okay, hold on, slow down. That awkward moment where Komodo doesn't know where his brakes are anymore. Oh, slow down, slow down, slow, service, service. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna overshoot. Emergency! Emer does emergency even work? Oh my goodness, it's as if we're, wait, hold on. I mean, emergency is way too rough. I should have done it like that. I panicked. I, I'm so used to looking at the older trains, but the brake is over here. I mean, we slightly overshot it, right? Slightly. Okay, let's turn that to running. Oh, wait, that counts? Uh, I guess everybody's gonna wind up walking to the back. You know what? The back cart back there, if you look at it, they are totally at the station. Everybody else has to jump off into the grass. Well, great work. That concludes it. I mean, I'm obviously a professional now, and I could totally do this uh, with my eyes closed. So, good morning. Uh, we are on a rail tour service. So, uh, it's like a classic. Like, I want to be on that one, actually. That, that one looks very fast. But it's fine. This is a classic train service. I need to talk to Emily Turner. Hello, Emily. Emily's got a certain, like, soulless look in her eyes. Hey, how's it going? It's, uh... Looks like we have quite the turnout for this event. I'm sure with a train like this, we'll draw a lot of enthusiasts, which by the way, I actually rode on a classic train. Uh, I think it was called the Grapevine Railroad up by the Fort Worth Stockyards. Uh, it was an experience. Okay, Emily, I've had enough of your stuff right now. I need to get aboard. Uh, people need me to speed down the tracks at extremely high rates of speed. And yeah, I feel like I need this. Okay, we're in the driver's seat. So what we need to do, let's go ahead and set this forward uh, to 75% percent so it's oh that's backwards <laughs> it's fine i got points for sending it in the wrong direction i don't know why i want to turn the handle to the right like that just seems natural to me okay we are going to unlock the doors do i have i'm assuming train enthusiast ready to jump aboard oh maybe i need to unlock the other there you guys go climb in uh wait why is everybody getting off i thought we were just now loading people okay we're gonna go ahead and lock those doors and we are good to go all right, so we need to set the train brake into the running position. So we're going to go back on this, and there we go. Okay, so I get to do the best thing ever. I get to sound the whistle. Is it like a little string? Oh, there it is. Uh, that's a sound. Okay, so we are low-priority traffic. Those people on the main line, they're, uh, they're trying to get somewhere. We're just strictly going on a tour here today. Uh, I do... Oh, my goodness. Is it 28 miles? Um, so here's a good question. How am I supposed to tell, like, when somebody's on the main line and I'm not supposed to run into them? You know, I had this uh, issue last episode. I could just go into free roam and just, you know, put this thing on the tracks. That is a, a feature, and I know a lot of people wanted to see that, but I figured we'd go on a scenic tour here to start with. Uh, I'm quite enjoying this. Okay, not really quite sure where we're going to squeeze out here. Uh, there's looks like freight over there. There's a passenger train getting ready to go. I don't think I'm going to cross over on a third area. All right, I'm going to open up the regulator a little bit more here. Let's see if we can get moving. Let's go 20%. Trying to take it easy to start with here. Oh, this is lovely. By the way, I'm trying to see the pass. Hold on, let's go to the back. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of enthusiasts on. They're all staring out the windows. Okay, we have 28 miles to go. Well, unlike last time, I don't have, like, a, a time. By the way, I have, are we merging? Uh-oh. Uh, hopefully that passenger train doesn't decide to take off. By the way, do I have a speed limit? Oh, I guess 20 through here, so let's not go over. By the way, it's back in Stupid American in the bottom right. I wonder why that changed. I mean, I bet you everybody would have a lot of fun if we sped. By the way, the front cars are really full. And uh, more fun facts in the bottom. I guess we're going to get a whole tour or a whole uh, talking aspect about what's happening and all the little historical things. It's great. Okay, my speed limit has kicked up quite a bit, so... Let's just go ahead and go a little more wide open. We say about 50%. We'll let it build up some speed, and then we'll go a uh, full 100 here. Sure, we could swing around the uh, 
tracks at high rates of speed. By the way, I need to pay attention to the top right. I think that'll actually tell me when somebody else is on uh, potentially the same tracks. Okay, we are gonna go ahead and open it up a little bit more here. Let's get it up to that 75 mark. Uh, this is all the way, okay, that's all the way forward. So is there anything I should be looking at here? Um, oh, and I wanna hit the whistle again. Even though I don't think I'm supposed to be hitting it right now. Where's my, uh, where's my horn? So yeah, Derail Valley used to have a little thing you could pull down for the horn. That was honestly uh, really cool. Oh yeah, we are, we're booking it right now. This is amazing. Okay, I feel like we ain't picking up enough speed here. We are gonna increase it all the way open. It is fully open now. There we go, we're starting to get that speed. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty sure like a vintage tour like this, would they be going this fast? Is this a bit overkill? Nah, it's fine. By the way, if you look over, you can see all the uh, the lovely neighborhoods here. I've got another, how many miles do we have to go? Uh, wait, where is the marker? The marker has disappeared. Just keeping an eye out here. I mean, if my calculations are right, if we can get this bad boy up to uh, 70 miles an hour, and if it was 28 miles, I mean, we are cutting into the trip time a lot here. Okay, we do have a green symbol up in the top right. I'm pretty sure it means I am full ready to go. What yellow means prepare to stop is from what I read. I could have it completely wrong. You guys can correct me there. Uh, we're gonna turn the regulator down a little bit because I feel like I do not want to run into the issue I had last time where I ran into another, well, we didn't get to see it unfortunately, but I pretty much ran into another train. Yep, Komodo got fired really quick. Okay, so we're just gonna slow it down a little bit. Uh, do I see anything up there? I mean, there's nothing up there right now. It's, it's still yellow. Yeah, as much as I want to keep this thing wide open, I want to not fail this time. Uh, unlike what we did last time. I want to get to the part where they allow me to speed in this. Okay, signal went green. I am allowed to, let's just go and open her back up. See, look at that. I'm trying to somewhat obey the speed limits here. By the way, those pedestrian. No, that's a vehicle crossing. Kind of look like a pedestrian crossing. Do you guys, oh wait. Is that like a full gate? Oh, dude, we need that here in America. We got too many idiots driving out on the tracks. Okay, we are green up here. So we are still good to go. I uh, got 23 miles until we get to, oh my goodness. We've only made it five miles down the track. Okay, yeah, 23 miles to go. I mean, at least we have a symbol. Uh, 22 miles. It's getting better. All right, you know what? Let's go wide open here. Uh, the signals seem to be turning green when I get near them, so I feel pretty confident right now to just kind of leave it alone and just uh, enjoy the ride here. I do really wish I could walk back into the passenger cars, like with the people. I feel like that'd be kind of fun. Oh, there goes another one rocketing by. <laughs> Holy man, okay. <laughs> I wonder how fast they were going. Do you know? Once again, I got another lifeless soul just staring at me. Oh, hey, we just passed through a crossing there. It was actually kind of cool looking. By the way, we're coming up to this yellow really quick. Uh, okay, let, okay, these are really coming up. Okay, oh, and we need to start slowing this down a little bit. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, they just went green. Are we good? Is this starting to rain? I think it's starting to rain. All right, open it back up. Oh, not overcharge. Wait, what does overcharge mean? <laughs> that sounds like something I would really want to hit. Okay, we're gonna go back up on it. Well, I guess it's a, I mean, I'm pretty sure where we are, it rains a lot, so this is probably very common. All right, let's go back wide open here. Not gonna lie, it's gonna add a nice atmosphere to it, so I'll take it. So I don't think, I wonder if in the mission where we get to speed, we don't maybe have the passenger cars with us, because we seem like fully open right now. Uh, we top out at about 65, depending on, like right now we're climbing slightly, so we did lose like a mile per hour. Uh, but it does seem like uh, at some point, I guess it's the next one, we might just be in just the engine itself. And we're gonna try to speed. By the way, it looks like we're on banking. It is kind of neat how it's like almost like slightly banked when we're going around the corner. You see it leaning over, it's so awesome. Okay, rain has really picked up here. There's another green signal. Uh, next one is green, so we're good to go. Yeah, I wanna say I need to go back and look at the other video. I'm pretty sure that signal was red when I went to an oncoming train. By the way, look at the amount of steam coming out. That is glorious looking. You can feel the power. If only I could uh, disconnect the passenger carts and let them fly down the tracks. That way we could really speed. You know what, I'm gonna call you, uh, you look like a Jill. Uh, how you doing today, Jill? This is that sad moment when Komodo's talking to his AI partner because he has nobody actually to talk to. It's fine, I'll just play with the window here or something. Oh, use the eject. Wait, what's the ejector? Did I hit the wrong? Oh, I was meaning to hit the window. It's an awkward moment when you can hit stuff that you don't really need to hit. By the way, we have seemingly gotten out into the countryside. Like, it's foggy. These people can't see anything. You saw lightning back there. 
I mean, chef's kiss when it comes to the weather effects in this game. I tell you what, there's two type of genres that get weather right. It's racing sims for the most part and simulators like this. Uh, whether it be trains, planes, man, I love it. By the way, we have entered like the, the world's longest tunnel. Thankfully, we have lights in here. Wait, can I turn those? I think I can turn those off. Oh, they're over there. Oh my goodness. And we just exited out the other side. It's pouring down. So we are about 4.3 miles away from the station. Not gonna lie, I have totally zinned out. I've just been staring at the, uh, the singles in the top right corner. Just to see if we're gonna run into a train at 70 miles an hour. By the way, it's a new speed record here. Uh, we're on a little bit, bit of a decline right now. By the way, we're starting to push it. We're actually picking up good speed. Uh, we're starting to drive over the speed limit. Okay, I need to slow it down just a tiny bit here. I regulate it down just a little bit. I think it's 75 through here. All right, we'll put that back to running. Uh, it's part of it's because we're slowing off a little bit. Okay, so we'll increase that back a little bit. Okay, I think we're good now. Okay, we are about a mile out. I'm gonna go ahead and close that off there. We are going to probably kick that back a little bit. And we're gonna start turning on those brakes. There we go. Uh, a lot. <laughs> okay, we are trying not to miss this. So let's go ahead and turn that down. We're braking really hard here. Okay, about a half mile. Uh, why are we not slowing down good enough? Uh, on. Okay, come on brakes. There we go, full service. There it goes. Okay, it's really starting to catch on right now. Okay, uh, about 600 yards out. It is just the visibility is terrible. Okay, am I supposed to sound the whistle that we're coming in? Is there something else I'm supposed to hit? By the way, there's a little icon down there. I don't know if we're running a little hot. I think I might have still probably slowed up a little too soon. Probably should have been a little more gradual. I don't know, it takes a little bit of learning to me the different characteristics of the uh, of each train. Yeah, we're still about 300 out. Uh oh. Um. Uh, something might have just happened there. Uh, I had it open. Did we just like overheat? Um. Uh, this is fine. What are you? What are you playing with over there? This is your fault, Samantha. I don't remember her name. So, how much does a thing like this cost? And did I break it? Is the question. Uh, I'm waiting to see if we can get any sort of like movement. I've got the sanders on in the front. Was I just, am I not getting traction? Uh, it's just not moving right now. There's, there's probably somebody really angry screaming at their screen right now going, Komodo, you're a freaking idiot. I mean, to be fair, the platform's right there. We could totally walk. I mean, it's not going to hurt any of these people in the train to go walk. Um, should we go check on the people? There's definitely something we've done wrong here. <laughs> Wait, what if it takes off? No, we're not having a runaway train uh, situation again. Uh, maybe we can go talk to the people. Uh, here. Hello, everybody. Oh, you guys seem to be really enjoying... Oh, this is first class up here. Holy man, this is nothing like the other ones. Oh, I'm just going to open it up and just like maybe set in the middle of you guys. You guys are fine, right? What if Komodo goes to the platform, calls for help, and then, uh, you know, somebody will come over here and restart the train for me. Help me. Uh, I think I need an adult. What if I stand in there? Does that complete the objective? Look at all these people waiting. They're like, what is happening? Hold on. I'm going to the platform. I Can, can I trick the game into thinking that I have arrived on time? Oh, look how close we are. Uh, I mean, I just feel like Komodo really screwed it up on the brakes there. Hold on. Komodo's going to make train noises here and go choo-choo, uh, whistle, stopping, and hold on. <laughs> Give it a second. Uh, does this count? I mean, this is where the player's body is. Nope. It does not count. Okay, so I've turned the injector to fully open. And guess what, folks? We are starting to freaking roll. Oh, uh-oh. What's that sound? Nope. Okay. On, oh, turn that back off. Uh, we are moving, though. Uh, I, I might have slowly somewhat fixed this. Either that or I've created a bomb. Dude, I got it back moving again. What's up, losers? It's okay. We were just sitting there for like 10 minutes. Totally knew what I was doing. Okay, let's go ahead and close that. Let's go ahead and slow that down here. Now we can start turning on a little bit of brake. Just get it ready to uh, slow down and go back to running. Got to regulate it a little bit here. Okay, and brakes full service. And 14 mile. Wait, what? Were we just picking you guys up over here? Was this not actually my stop? You know what? You can take over. Jill, I'm done. It's that awkward moment where I just jump over the tracks and just leave. I'm going to just go visit somebody's house. 
Okay, can I unhook these two things? You know, I just want to try to see how fast we can get moving on this. And yeah, these stupid passengers are in the way, so we're just going to unhook that. Um, how do we unhook? Oh, here we go. Uh, oops. Um, totally didn't mean to uh, unhook that there. Shh. By the way, Janet was fired, and we now have Bob over here with us. Okay, so what we're going to do, uh, we're going to move this into running here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move this all the way forward. Uh, we're not playing here today. Okay, and let's go open. Han has confirmed that we've, we've left the passengers behind. <laughs> not going to lie, that first class car was very, very sweet, but uh, we shed some pounds here. We went on the old uh, Jenny Craig diet for trains. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Also, I love how the game is just screaming at me in the top left. Okay, let's go all the way open here. Yes. This is what I'm this is what I wanted to see here. Oh my goodness, this thing looks pretty good, not gonna lie. Uh, are we gonna top out though? See, I really wish we got to the mission where we were able to just go like full speed. I, I would have loved to have seen that. Okay, we are now officially speeding. We're up to 60 miles per hour. Uh, maybe we should uh, do the little whistle here. Uh, how are we doing over there, Bob? Oh my goodness, this is just absolutely glorious. It is, I mean, we're booking. Uh, let's just keep this party moving. Driving significantly over the speed limit. That's the only way I go, baby. Okay, we are at a sweet 70 miles per hour. I think I Googled it. This thing was capable of going 120, I think is what it said. Okay, we're pushing it to the limit. We got a little decline here. We are, I mean, we're booking it. We're doing the thing right now. Do, do we have like a, a mountain we can go down? By the way, there was also a mission called the Polar Express. I kind of regret not getting a part of that. That would have been kind of fun. It was okay. I wasn't ready to go another 14 miles. Yep, speeds are still slowly going up. I mean, we're doing it. It's definitely a lot easier to get up to speed without all the extra uh, dead weight in the back. So anybody that's an expert here, how do I get maximum power out of this? Do we need to shovel Bob's face into the coal? Sacrifice his soul to the train gods? That way we can get more speed. Yeah, because it seems like 75. Oh, 76. Hold on. Hold on. We're, we're still doing it right now. It's slowly but surely picking up speed. Also, I have somehow enabled my frames counter in the top right. You can see that I bring it a smooth 60 frames per second. Oh my goodness, going 80 in this just does not feel safe at all. No, this is completely fine. Um, yep, this is the time <laughs> the game is just screaming at me like, Komodo, what are you doing? This thing's priceless. You're going to break it. It's okay. We're just going to blame it on Bob. Either that, I'll just open the door and uh, exit. But oh, we're going to wait. Yeah, folks, I feel like I've maxed it out. I like, I wonder, like, with the other mission, it was it gonna wait? Why is it turning red now? Is it because I'm going that fast? Okay, I'm gonna find every button to click in here and see if I can find more speed. I don't even know what that is. You know, I clicked it. Um, toot the whistle a little bit. Uh, I don't know what the big red button's for. But I feel like I probably should click it. You know what? Uh, this cat flap, we're gonna close this. Does that build up pressure? That's a good question. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Uh, I'm just clicking by. Oh, it just opened up by itself. What do you got over here, Bob? Can I click your buttons? Here, you need some fresh air. Uh, okay. Komodo officially has gone off the deep end. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Well, it does seem like we have topped out at 80, so there probably was a way to make it go faster, but you know what? Can I jump out of this one? Oh, no. Did they make a train that's Komodo proof? No. I'm wanting to jump down. No, I don't want to sit down. I want to jump down. Oh, let me try going on his side. Nope. Okay, hold on. There's a door here. Maybe I can hop out the back. Oh, my goodness. I can go back through this? This seems kind of dangerous, doesn't it? Ah, uh, here we go. This is totally like a door I can... Oh, hold on. This is a door I can... There it goes. See, I feel like we have to end every episode like that.